And with the trusses in place, you want to make sure that they are securely attached to the walls with something like these hurricane ties. One flange gets attached to the truss and the other one to the wall plates. Now all of these connectors are galvanized with a zinc coating for protection against corrosion. And these actually have double the amount of zinc, so there's extra protection. We also have these flat straps that are used to connect pieces on the same plane, like our garage headers, to the trimmers below. And of course, they've been using lots of different hangers for our roof trusses, floor trusses, and beams. This one's pretty self-explanatory. The face just gets nailed into your support piece, and then whatever you're hanging goes right here and nailed in through the flange. Now, this one has 40 holes, which is a lot to do by hand, so the guys do have a joist hanger gun that they use just for this. The holes on the flanges have these hoods on them, which sends the nail in at an angle. Kind of handy if you have some framing nearby. And the holes are also offset, so you're not going to have nails running into one another.